Welcome back to another edition of Modern Dallas TV. I'm Jeff Levine with ModernDallas.net. This week in real estate, we visit a futuristic contemporary in Farmer's Branch. We talk with Bert Finger at PDMB Gallery about their photographic show, New York, as well as stop by Metrocon and feature some of our favorites and also visit Concept Surfaces and see their collection. Stick around for the arts, calendar, and enjoy the show. Experience LED at Lights Fantastic Pro, our sponsor on Modern Dallas TV. Lighting is changing at warp speed and there's definitely an LED revolution going on. You'll see a curated selection of some of the coolest new LED fixtures from some of the best brands around the world. Visit their 12,000 square foot showroom minutes from the new Nebraska Furniture Mart in Louisville off the Sam Rabin Tollway. Come see for yourself how lighting can enhance and change your next project. Modern Dallas Real Estate is here in uh, Farmer's Branch at uh, 2615 Letter May. It's uh, a very unique transitional uh, development. I'm here with Grant Van Cleef from Briggs Freeman Sotheby's Realty. Grant, thanks for having us. Well, thanks for being here. We're here today at a vision that was a vision of my clients, which was finished in 2014. Basically, it was constructed by metal and even down to the interior doors are metal. So there is no wood here. So it's really a futuristic home. Uh, basically uh, green, uh, solar panels, geothermal, heating and cooling, uh, generator. So it's uh, kind of self-contained. This home, it is actually a three bedroom, two bath uh, with the common area. It's about 23, 25 square feet. The price is a million eighty. Tell us about this neighborhood. This neighborhood is a very transitional neighborhood in a Farmers Branch, and you'll find very minimum homes that are a builder is coming in and rebuilding homes. The one interesting thing we found about the neighborhood when the owner here purchased is the people that live here want to stay here. A lot of them are moving out of their homes, having them torn down and rebuilt because they plan to stay here. And it's surrounded by a beautiful park area with water. So it's a very, very, very unique little spot. Wonderful, thanks for uh, allowing us to be part of this home. It's a great home in Farmers Branch. Uh, you can see the home at BriggsFreeman.com or visit Modern Dallas and see it on our website, moderndallas.net. Modern Dallas Art is here uh, at PDNB Gallery. Bert, it's a pleasure to uh, meet you and spend some time with you. Uh, what is PDNB? PDNB stands for Photographs Do Not Bend. The first uh, show we did when we were private dealers, we didn't have a business card, so we bought some blank cards and just used the stamp that we used to send out packages. Photographs Do Not Bend, that became our, the name of our gallery for many years. And, now we use the acronym PDMB. Great way to start. Uh, tell us a little bit about PDMB. Uh, we've been, we've been in, in the gallery business now for over 20 years. Our first location was on Ruth Street. Uh, we specialize in collectible uh, photography. Uh, we represent probably 20 different artists. We mainly uh, are more expert with photographs from like the 50s to 2000. So um, that's basically what we do. We've, you know, we've had educational programs here, and we've tried to uh, just bring photography to Dallas. And it's a great gallery, one of a handful of galleries focusing on photography. So we're here for this show, which is New York, right? And uh, there's a lot of work on the walls. How do you? figure that this is a show and what does it come to, how does it come together? Well, most of the artists in this show are artists that we represent. For example, John Albach, we've represented the estate for many years. Uh, Morris Engel, uh, just uh, lots of different artists that we've accumulated and represent. So we put all these people together and you know, I, I generally act as the curator or the gallery director, so I'll go through five, six hundred photographs and make a selection and try to make it work. 
Uh, we have some Harold Feinstein in the gallery, and Harold passed away about, oh, I guess it was about two months ago, and I really wanted to include his work from Coney Island, which is so good. Morris Engel was an old friend of mine. Uh, I used to go visit him in his home, and he was a member of the Photo League in New York, and his work is so, so New York. So it's, it's really, and, and then there's one actually, there's one local artist, uh, Paul Greenberg. So his work is from, say, 2000, 1990, somewhere thereabouts. But Paul is not from New York, but he generally goes there once a year, and he always goes there to photograph. His work is very good. It's an interesting combination. There's very different views looking at all these works. Right. Is, well, there, a, is there like a theme or just New York as a whole? No, New York is the theme, but you know, you're know you looking at New York through the eyes of really talented photographers. And I think that's the key to it. And if you look, you know, a lot of these were done in the 40s and 50s. So if you look at the print quality, these are, these are men that and women that really knew how to to print, to take a gelatin silver print, old school, and just make it sing and pop out at you. It's definitely, I mean, you can look through, and I don't know how many pieces are hanging the wall, they all pop. Yeah. It's a great show. And then you have a, little, a smaller space, it's, it, it has a name, I can't recall. Yeah, it's called the John Albach Gallery. Oh, That's yeah. this, <laughs> this artist, I dedicated that gallery to him because uh, his daughter, who Alona Albach, who also passed away last year, was a close friend of mine, and she gave me the opportunity to show his wonderful work. And we've been very, very fortunate with that. So in that work. gallery, you have Fun Show 3. Fun Show 3, yeah. Fun <laughs> now show that's three. a fun show. <laughs> that is really, you know, I have a lot of fun with it. Missy, my wife, and uh, Louisa, I think, have more aggravation with it. You know, it's selling things for five dollars, twenty dollars, a hundred dollars, and it's basically two or three or four years of accumulation. I'm a compulsive buyer of things. I mean, I, I love to buy things that catch my eye, and all of these things have been things that uh, just enamor me. Like I'm selling part of my bookend collection that I've collected for probably twenty years. I mean, I love that. Stuff. Uh, African masks, paintings, old photographs that I found, new photographs that I found, uh, folk art. I mean, it's just like a great conglomeration of different, uh, work. Of different stuff. pieces of stuff. stuff. <laughs> you know, but they, they all have great meaning to me, and you know, I'm I'm very happy when somebody buys them and takes them away and becomes part of their life as well. It's just part of the process. Yeah, and it, it sets our gallery apart. I mean, you know, like. It's kind of like having a garage sale in a real expensive house. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of pieces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so definitely stop by. Uh, not only see New York, the fun show, meet Bert and Missy and Luis. Uh, you can stop by the gallery. It's on Dragon Street at 1202. 1202 Dragon. Um, great show. Thanks for having us today. Thank you so much, Chef. It's we appreciate you doing this for us. Great. Welcome to Mod Artist Gallery. In a recent editorial, art critic Todd Camplin from ModernDallas.net wrote, Mod Artist Gallery is another space that breaks the mold of traditional galleries. This group space of artists has rotating shows, but also acts as a place where artists in the group can take collectors and talk to people one-on-one -on -one about their work. Stop by Mod Artist Gallery at 2514 Converse in the Dallas Design District, or visit us at modartistgallery.com. So Modern Dallas TV is always looking for great products, great ideas, and we did find one here at Concept Surfaces. I'm here with Jeff Gross. Jeff, thanks for being part of the show. No, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you and along with your audience. Uh, we've heard great things about you guys. Excellent, wonderful. Well, we, we fit the modern niche and you've got a lot of different products, tiles, stone, but some of the interesting ones obviously are print and texture. Tell us a little bit about these collections. Well, right now you're seeing, as you can see, we just launched this product at the regional trade show here in Dallas called Metricon. This is Luxor. It's available in one amazing format, a 12 inch by 40 inch. Uh, and then there are two colors to it. There's an ivory within a white, and both of them are available in two different patterns. The two patterns offer this great dimensional look, visual, 
without the texture. So it's a smooth top, almost an etched on tile. And it's a wall tile that really will add, it'd be dynamite to any room. And it's this additional pop that's missing, but it's still very subtle due to the color tones. What size is this? Because It's a 12 inch by 40 inch. So it, it, initially it's, it was designed in Europe. And the reason for the 40 inch is because over there, their restrooms or their bathrooms, excuse me, are the showers are one meter by one meter. So they wanted to do a full 40 inch so you don't have to cut it. And you, you get that true beauty. Uh, and the nice thing is, I think I was saying is earlier, is the dimension, this pattern here, it's continuous. So whether you flip the tile, turn it, you're constantly getting that pattern to go through. And you get to see then the beauty versus trying to offset or do a different direction. We'll piece it, it together. It, you know what, that's the perfect way to say it. So this is another collection that is great. Obviously it looks like it's available in the four finishes. Absolutely. So you have four different colors as you noted. The silver, which is called Plata, the white, Blanco, Rojo, and the Negro. And you have dimension. I think you alluded to it earlier that dimension is hot. Dimension is something that people want because it offers an additional depth and texture uh, without having to change a room in many different ways. And that's what this does. It adds with the color scheme that you see here, plus with the texture, offers a pop in just a wow factor. So Jeff, obviously there's tons of ideas, but one of these is this artisan style collection. It's got nice free form, it's got a nice feel. Is this also an important piece from Italy? It is an imported piece. It's the new Pascal series. Pascal's available in two formats, six by six, 24 by 24. And as you said, it's this artisan piece where it almost looks hand drawn, but due to the new technology called inkjet, uh, which is kind of, it's taking the wave of all tile right now, it looks, as I noted, hand drawn, but it's machine made and you have available in the black and white, and now it's also available in a gray and black with a, then two taupe, taupe on taupe. And there's other options as well within the collection? Other options, there's multiple. And the beauty is when you see this installed, I call it a modern day encaustic tile because you, encaustic tile has been so popular, particularly when you go to Mexican restaurants and see this. This is your modern version, and it separates it very much so from old school versus new school. It's a great product, love the, love the finish. More importantly, you've been around, this is your industry, you've been in the tile business for since 07 maybe? Since 2000, I've actually been in the industry since 2002. Uh, and as you can see, I continue to lose my hair. So <laughs> I, I'm gradually getting there. So tell us what are the trends and what, what can people see coming through? Well, as you, I think your viewers have been able to see some of the trends based on what we've already gone through. Texture, dimension, uh, it, you know, the beauty of design. It, it, that as a company, we focus. We focus more on design than we do anything. It's design is so important to offering that to your consumer. Because at the end of the day, anybody can get a beige or a white tile. But that's not what it's about. It sets, if you look at any room, designers start with the floor. And this product, floor or wall, if it's tile, is going to be in those homes, those commercial applications from now until forever. So it better look good and it better be great. And not only that, it should be timeless. Because they can accessorize with uh, pillows, wall covering, anything of that, but this is a permanent fixture. So what we offer to our clients has to be top notch, beautiful, and effective for them to be happy. Are there any specific sizes that people are gravitating to? You know, you hit that nail on the head. Right now, sizes are so important because you're seeing large format. It used to be, I think, when I got in the industry, 12 by 12, by 12 inch was huge. Today, we're selling 48 inch by 48 inch, right? And five foot by 10 foot. It's amazing the formats that are coming out with. But the beauty is a lot of these tiles are available in as small as two inch by 24 inch and going again as large as 48 by 48. So size, this is bigger is better. <laughs> and, and that's what's happening. Uh, it, it's amazing. Where do they find these pieces? Right here. <laughs> uh, you know, at Concept Services, you come to us. We primarily work with interior designers, architects, and we recommend that your viewers get in touch with them. Visit our showroom, our website, uh, you know, just reach out. We don't care if you text, call, email, but just get a hold of us because we want to put you in touch with 
the right people. Well, great. It's been a pleasure spending time with you. Great product, great showroom. All the best. Thank you. And thank you. Modern Dallas stops by Metricon 15, a interior design related regional expo. And we visit a few of the vendors, picked out our favorites. The sway chair. Finally, a lounge chair that responds to you. Great selection of fabrics. Frame is available in different colors, as well as there's a matching ottoman. For Mica, had a great selection of the new Jonathan Adler collection. And from Huntsgro, the Axel collection, the candle from Nendo, and the lamp designed by Front. We stopped by Alamur and looked at their Haven pod and the Henge and the V collection. Great colors, great variety, great options. From Concept, great series, the Bar Mini, great inspired LED lighting, Mr. N, which is definitely a fave. And then lastly, the Mossa Pro, which delivers phenomenal 99 lumens per watt. It changes light colors from warm to cool and anything in between. An intuitive built-in touch strip, which allows for effortless continuous dimming. And also a sensor ensures no energy is wasted, lighting up a vacant desk. For smartphone enthusiasts, Mossa Pro comes standard with a USB port or an optional wireless charging base. All these are available from Concept. And that's our favorites from Metricon 15. Testing, testing. Wiki, wiki. We're on board. Here we go, Dallas Modern Meetup. This month, I'm Jeff Levine with ModernDallas.net. And I'm Jeff Mitchell, the Modern Home Guy with Bridge Freeman Sotheby's. Together, we're, we're Jeff, Jeff Square, Square, but in a cool way. Join us for the next Dallas Modern Meetup. It's going to be on August 26th. And today, uh, we're here with David at Spinster Records. David, tell us all about it. So Spencer Records is a vinyl lifestyle store, so we do everything around vinyl records. So new records, used records, really cool turntables, amps, speakers. We do a little bit of repair and we have live shows here. So it's a really great cultural icon, little spot here in Oak Cliff, and we'd love for y'all to come down, join us, network, have fun on the 26th. I think it's going to be a really good time. Awesome. So come connect, socialize with other local modernistas here in our Dallas community. And Jeff, it's going to be located at? Spencer Records, 829 West Davis. Davis, August the 26th, 6 to 8 p.m. Be here and be square. Square is a new circle. See you soon. <laughs> to wrap up this week on the art scene, August the 29th, Tally Dunn Gallery has a Chihuly exhibit as well as an opening for Ted Kincaid from 5 to 8 p.m. On the calendar, Preservation Dallas on August the 25th, as an in-town outing at LTV Tower at 6 p.m. As well as on the 26th, we have a Modern Dallas event, the Dallas Modern Meetup at Spinster Records at 829 West Davis from 6 to 8 p.m. And if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary home, high-rise, townhouse or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. Visit our website at moderndallas.net and hope you enjoy the show this week.